Hello, Data here. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Today we're going to go over the top three planet types or biomes in No Man's Sky that everybody should visit, see, and or live on. And we're going to start with one that was previously discovered. This one is a planetary anomaly with cymatogen being one of the resources that you can find on there. And the reason we want to visit this planet, we're going to go, let's go find the dark side of the planet so we can get down and land on it and check out the magnificent sight that it is. We can just warp on down there and as we approach the planet, I do believe, yes we are on the dark side, we will begin to notice some of the fascinating anomalies that are on this planet itself which would include strange features with lights lights or lasers shooting into the sky what a magnificent sight oops kind of flew into that rock a little bit all right why don't we land and take a look around as to why this is planet number three on the must see list the planetary anomaly with thirsty clouds regular flora common not present on the fauna and generally these do not have a portal on a rare occasion they will but if you ever find one of these you're here to check out the magnificence and why don't we listen to the, some of the sounds in the background As we walk around a little bit, we can see these magnificent structures. Not too many planets are lit up, and these are definitely one of the mysteries in No Man's Sky. Why are they here? How did they get here? What is their purpose? As we walk around checking out the beams of light, maybe they're sending a message out into the galaxy. Overall, a very beautiful planet, so if you ever get a chance to find one of these, definitely stop by, give it a visit. And this is why this will be planet number three on our list. The Planetary Anomaly. What a beauty. Number two on our list will be a viridescent planet, usually with star bulbs and a generally safe, habitable area to live. The reason this is number two on our list is because of the magnificent colors that the viridescent planets have. And they all are different, so you never know what you're going to find. And you don't have to find these specific planets, as these are biomes scattered across the galaxies. And I believe we're on the day side here. We can already begin to see some of the magnificent colors that are appearing with a blue sky. It looks like a blue and yellow type landscape, maybe even blue grass. Why don't we get out of our ship and take a look around. There's a purple bush. You can see these are magnificently colored. Let's take a listen to the background sound. It seems to be raining on this planet at the moment. And definitely, quite often you will find rare creatures on this planet. This one is rather interesting. There's some smaller ones all over, and I think it's either sunrise or sunset. We'll see here. But we are definitely getting the daytime view. I wonder what this guy's doing. What another beautiful creature. We don't want to get too close to disturb it, but it does not seem to be dangerous at the moment. Here's some smaller ones. They all seem to be relatively safe to pass by and we can see that landscape changes colors again. There's blues, you'll find purples on these, sometimes oranges and greens and quite often they have 
vast amounts of water on them. There's another pack of animals over there. Why don't we check out the ocean itself, see if there's anything interesting in there. The colors are amazing. Like very much a sea green. Look at all these fish in here. If only we could go fishing. <laughs> that is a view of the underwater. Everything is very green. I found these planets in different color schemes, so whatever you find will definitely be rare and unique. I believe it is sunset, so we're going to watch the colors change here for just a little bit. Overall, very beautiful, and this is why this is number two on our list for a must find, visit, and or see. Very beautiful. And number one on our list, partially because I live here, but it is a bountiful planet. It took me a while to discover it. It has star bulbs and many other resources on it. Why don't we pass through the asteroid belt right there and approach the planet as we can see bountiful planets quite often are also ocean planets with vast amounts of water and they come in different colors and again you don't have to visit this one there are many biome types like this out there in the galaxy but quite often they have a blue sky and a greenish grass and they look very much earth-like we are on the day side of this planet so why don't we find an area where we can land our ship and take a closer look at the planet itself. Bountiful planet. This one has blistering damp weather with abundant and copious flora and fauna. As we can see it has much in the way of green grass and blue waters. There are some traders or travelers passing through. And it, many resources can off also be found on these planets. And we have a nice view of the other planets in the system from this cliffside. Quite often full of creatures. Sometimes they're a little dangerous, so you'll have to be careful out there. Let's take a little bit of a listen to the background sound of the planet. What an amazing creature that is. I think we should get a little bit of a closer look. You never know what you're going to find on these planets. That one is definitely a large one and it does not appear to be dangerous so let's go take a closer look. Very interesting. Must be feeding time. All right, we don't want to disturb that too much. So this is a bountiful planet. If you can find one, definitely visit it. Check it out. And that is why this is planet number one in our No Man's Sky bio planet list. All right, that'll do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Look at this little guy. He's cute. I want you guys to have a great day. Bye-bye.